Hello, I'm Dr. James Bogash, expert in health and longevity and creator of Bogash Life and Balance. And today we're going to talk about one of my favorite subjects, and that is the gastrointestinal tract, bone, and diabetes. So actually that cuts across three systems, but the concept is wonderful because it shows how little the human body respects these artificial barriers that we've created, these specialties in neurology and gastroenterology and endocrinology and cardiology. The human body pretty much thumbs its nose at it because no system works independently. And this particular system, how bone health interacts with, uh, gut health interacts with, bone health interacts with diabetes risk, really just exemplifies how important this is. And this was brought up by a, a recent conference a poster presentation, and they looked at people that were on Fosamax, which is aldonterate designed to protect bone, and those who were on Fosamax at any point in their life had a 36% lower risk of de developing diabetes. Now, I would not suggest that we should be taking Fosamax, the lower risk of diabetes, but it shows how important bone health is in preventing diabetes. So here's the way things work. Serotonin, which is a gut-derived hormone, and we make some in the brain, but most of it is made in the gut. So serotonin in the gut actually stops healthy bone formation. It's something called Wnt signaling, but that means when your gut's inflamed and your body's producing too much serotonin or you're on a drug like an SSRI, which are known to increase what? Fracture risk. So if for some reason serotonin goes up, it will stop healthy bone formation. Well, healthy bone makes a hormone called osteocalcin, which is a hormone that's required, that vitamin K is required to make, but it actually stops is an anti-diabetic hormone. So your bone makes an anti-diabetic hormone a very powerful one. So in order to stop diabetes, you have to focus on the gut to help bone health to lower risk of diabetes. Like that's how crazy circular everything is and that's why looking at one single system and how we can fix that is a broken way to look at how to maintain health. In a situation like this, if you want to protect your bone, you have to focus on gut health, make sure that you're digesting properly, that you're not stressed out, um, that you have, if you're, if you're not producing enough stomach acid, which is common, it's pretty rare that somebody makes too much stomach acid, but taking something like digestive enzymes or even just chewing more to maintain good gut health, um, avoiding drugs that affect serotonin pathways like uh, Prozac, and then things that make healthy bone, like exercise, and then healthy bone will then lower your risk of diabetes. It's just crazy. But this particular study just kind of brings it home, and I thought I'd use this as a pivotal point to bring up how important it is to focus on everything in your health rather than just bone health or just diabetes risk or just gut health. So as always, I will post a link to this particular study in the description. Make sure you like this video, share it with somebody who you think needs the information, and subscribe to the channel.